Good morning guys, welcome back to the first university vlog of 2019, I was going to say 18 then. This morning is the 7th of January and I'm heading back to uni and despite the fact that I'm smiling, I really am not in the mood. The weather is disgusting, it's dark, it's cold, I'm running late already, I have a very heavy bag to carry but I'm going to try not to complain because it might be a really good day. Obviously, I don't know. I have made myself quite a nice lunch and I do feel like sometimes food can just pull you through. Welcome to a weekly vlog. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new and let's see what this week has entailed for us. I am now back from uni and you might be thinking, Molly, why are you in bed? It's four o'clock. I have just walked home from uni and it is freezing cold today. Like, I don't actually think the temperature is that low, but it is so incredibly windy that I have got the worst earache in the world. Like, I suffer really, really badly with my ears. I have such such sensitive ears to the point where even the temperature just being cold gives me earache for the full day. Um, I have actually like been to the doctors about that. It's the same when I go on an aeroplane, go underwater, like anything like that. I really am not good with my ears, but I have just got the worst earache because the wind is just horrific. Like Eleanor and I were walking back from uni. If you're new to my channel, Eleanor is like my closest friend on the course with me. We were walking back from uni, trying to have a conversation and we couldn't even hear each other. And it's given me the worst headache. So I thought it's only only four o'clock I don't need to cook tea for like another two hours I do have a video to edit but I thought I'll just do that from my bed but I'm just gonna lay here and watch a YouTube video until my earache and my headache kind of goes because I literally can't do anything right now like my ears are just hurting me so much but there's no point in me taking like a paracetamol because it will go off in about half an hour I just need to warm up again but I'm so excited for it to be like March because when it starts becoming spring and it starts becoming a bit more pleasant to be outside it's just all round better <laughs> um, but uni was okay it was kind of boring but I feel like like I kind of know what I'm doing now. Before I felt very like lost for inspiration and I didn't really know where the whole project was heading but I found this photographer today called like Alesso somebody. It, he's an Italian guy and I just really liked his work and I think I want to try and take some like in that style. So I feel a bit more motivated but all I want to do right now is like curl up until my headache goes away so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay it's been a while this angle is not that attractive but it'll do um and Eleanor is now here and we are gonna play Disney Monopoly because it's just me and George in the flat at the moment like my other flatmates don't come back until like either next week or a couple of weeks time and George has brought a Disney Monopoly so we're gonna play that. I can hear him coming now. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> can I show them the game? Where did you get it from George? Uh, Santa. Santa? Oh, did you get it for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, I just want to document this moment because look how much Monopoly money I have. Yeah, but you just landed on mine. Just took oh, how much do I owe you? 550? That is quite cheap, yeah, when, it, when you look at all this. I don't know how much is even here, but that's a couple of, couple of thousand. I'm winning spectacularly. George won, but George was really jammy and only just managed to win because I was definitely playing better. I had like the ultimate amount of houses on these ones and these ones. George had more money in property and we got bored, so we just counted up. I reckon if we'd have carried on playing, George, I would have won. I just like lost straight away. Eleanor lost after a part. As you know, yeah, you weren't out for that long. Got Taylor Swift on, gonna get a copyright. It has been quite a long time. It is now half past 11, and I just found out that Dynasties has a series two, not Dynasties, that's the David Attenborough show, Dynasty um, on Netflix has a series two out, which came out in October apparently, and I did not know. I watched series one religiously. I did not know series two had come out. So I'm gonna watch that tonight. But tonight was actually really fun. I have been feeling a little bit rough about coming back to uni. I've tried to like keep it off camera a little bit because I feel like you're just bored of me saying, oh, I don't like uni. Um, but last night I did get a little bit upset because obviously like I know I'm going home literally at the weekend and I'm not far away from home. But just the like initial coming back process is kind of daunting and felt kind of like I was moving in again, even though I've only been off for like three and a half weeks. But yeah, tonight was so nice. We played Monopoly. I didn't win. I was conned. I was winning the whole time. And then George won at the last minute, but it was really fun. And then Eleanor and I have been looking into going away over the summer. We've wanted to travel like ever since we basically first met one of our most talked about conversations is traveling. And we thought in the new year, let's actually seriously look into this and try and price it up, see where we want to travel a little bit. And I think we've almost got it down. We've looked at flights, we've looked at 
hotels we just need to book it so we're gonna obviously look into it a bit more before we do anything but we spent about an hour doing that talking about it so when we've sorted that out let me know if a budgeting or a travel video is something you'd like to see because when i ask on instagram what kind of content you want i often get talk about how you book a holiday talk about how you travel for cheap talk about how you know if it's legit all of that kind of stuff and i have traveled quite a lot and i do kind of feel as though every time i do it i have a little bit more experience in how to book a trip and obviously i'm not a pro i'm not a travel agent but I do feel like I can kind of help so yeah that is my plan now I'm gonna pop Dynasty on I've got the end of my video to edit which went up on Tuesday for you guys I adore this video it is my swapping lives with Tom it was so much fun to film it was absolutely hilarious to edit so please go and check that out if you haven't already if you're a religious viewer of the vlogs but you don't watch my main videos check this one out because I think you'll like it I really enjoyed it but yeah I'm gonna head to bed now and tomorrow me and Alana are hitting the gym we haven't been yet it's 2019 now we need to get back on our fitness game bought some Gymshark leggings I'm ready also if you're wondering where this is from it's actually from Asda Tom's mum and dad got me it and it's very soft and my flat is very cold so I'm very grateful in a rare weird turn of events I'm ready 10 minutes early who am I new year new me I actually can't believe I just did that cringe with me good morning guys it's Tuesday it is the 8th of January it's freezing cold I am about to leave for university I don't have very much makeup on at all today which is actually why I've got that hat on I have such a spotty forehead right now which I haven't had spots in the longest time I don't know if it's a combination of the weather bad diet lack of water I just I really don't know what it is because I'm really not prone to spots touch wood um, anymore I used to be but just like obviously I'm a bit older now I don't really get spots anymore and then suddenly I've had the worst breakout on my forehead like you can see it it's disgusting so that's why I've got the hat on because I am actually going to the gym this evening as I said yesterday Eleanor and I are going to hit the gym again um, so I've got my gym stuff with me in my uni bag and then I've got this outfit on which is very art school I feel like if you look at me in the mirror I look a bit like a cross between the stereotype of a French person that does art and Keira Knightley in Love Actually or like I'm trying to be Keira Knightley will never be Keira Knightley but that's okay so yeah this is my outfit I actually really like it these dungarees I've had for four years now um they're from H&M though they've lasted so well um I must have been this exact height and build for the last four years um so yeah and then I've got it on with a pair of Nike trainers which does not go I know it doesn't go I just can't fit a pair of shoes in that bag so there's literally no point in me like taking a different pair of shoes I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually t on time today and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go early and I'll probably end up waiting for ages but at least I've been on time hope you guys are having a fab week I didn't actually sleep that well I had such a strange dream I like it, it really actually kind of not scared me but I had this dream where I was, all of a sudden I was like walking down the street I had no idea where where I was and these three boys like started following me like little boys like children and then this dog started barking and like there was loads of noise at the same time and I was like oh my god so I was trying to like walk down the street and then just to scare me even more my alarm went off in real life but I thought it was in the dream so I was like eh, eh, eh. my flatmate is in there they can hear this story that was um weird a weird weird dream not gonna lie I was like chased by a dog maybe it's because I miss my dog I do miss my dog that was a really fun ramble the hats from new look enjoy your Tuesday I'll catch up with you when I'm at uni Okay guys, it is now about 20 to 4, what time is it? Half past 3, 20 to 4. Um, and we are heading to the gym, and with Eleanor, say we, over here. And we've been hyping this up all day, we're both trying to be like, oh, health kick, which seems hilarious, because the last clip you saw was us having a McDonald's. So as you can see, it's not going amazing. Yeah, but I was trying the veggie thing. Yeah, Eleanor was trying the new veggie wrap, which, was it nice? It was alright. Yeah, out of Good 10? Job. Seven. Seven out of ten. It was a bit empty. Yeah, it looked a bit empty. But basically, yeah, we're going to the gym now. And I've got my new leggings to try, which I'm excited about. And we've been kind of productive today. Like, I feel like we've done okay. We did a lot of printing out. Just got fully stirred up by that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to the gym now. So, I am now waiting for the lift. It's actually just arrived. And I'm heading to Eleanor's. And we are actually going to watch The Good Dinosaur, which is a Disney film that I have never seen. Until yesterday, I'd never even heard of it. Oh, look how curly the back of my hair is. Ew. I have actually got my pajamas on I've put my coat and scarf over the top of them it's a four minute walk to Eleanor's and I thought you know what nobody in Leeds knows me would not do this at home but don't really care gonna go and watch the good dinosaur gonna do a little bit of art as well while I'm there I have got my book with me and my new pen 
ones that I got for Christmas. So let's go. Right, I've looked better. I've taken my makeup off. And we also did, um, which face mask was it? Himalayan charcoal. The Himalayan charcoal face mask by The Body Shop, which is actually one of my favourites. I've got it at home. It's like the charcoal one where it dries. It looks kind of crusty when it dries, but it feels like it's working. And then we watched The Good Dinosaur, and then we watched The Inbetweeners. Just to really contrast <laughs> Disney in between us but they were both very good so i'm gonna head back now and tomorrow we have a day off uni so uh, we're gonna go to the gym again tomorrow i've lost my phone i'm gonna walk back now i'm gonna call tom though so that it gets stabbed so that's very great well. and yeah i don't really have anything else to update you on we haven't really done anything other than sit and Just watch stuff and eat oh we ate oreo joy fills which essentially guys are like crave cereal but with oreo stuff inside i thought they were okay Oh, and I thought they were a bit dry. It's they, underwhelming. They are a bit underwhelming. They smell like Oreos, but they don't have the same taste, so it's a bit of a letdown. But they're a good snack, and I'm gonna head back now. Good morning, guys. It's now Wednesday, and the reason I sound so jolly is because it is half past ten, and I've only just got up. And that to me i know it's not the most productive but honestly i was just really tired it's the first week back so going back to uni it's like when you first go back to school and you're like oh i don't think i can hack every day this long but you know it's fine um and we're gonna go to the gym again this morning which i think is <laughs> maybe a mistake because i can't really walk from yesterday so i don't think i told you but at the gym i did 5k on the bikes which was like kind of unlike me i don't usually go on the bikes don't like sitting on a bike it hurts and i don't really like biking but i thought mm, it's kind of easier than running <laughs> obviously so i did 5k on the bikes and then i did 3k on the running machine and then some other like machines that i don't even really know what they're called like the leg ones and stuff personally my favorite thing to do is do stuff like on the floor like sit up and all of those kind of exercises but i do know that you can do that at home so there's no point so we are going to go to the gym again today at 12 it's currently half past 10 i've got a lot of little bits to sort out today I'm actually really glad I've got it off. I've got some brand work to do. I've got just little things to do. Eleanor and I are seriously looking into going to Italy. So I need to really like price that up and look into that today, try and sort it out. As well as a couple of other trips that have all seemed to fall in at once. So I'm gonna bankrupt myself this month going on holiday, which is always rewarding. Like that is what I choose to spend my money on, like travel. I know it's personal preference, but it's one of those things where I'm gonna pay a lot of money and then not see anything for like six months until I actually go on holiday. So it's a hard one because you have to part with your money but you're not getting anything for it until like six months down the line so i think I'm, we're gonna try and do that some point soon so i need to like finance a little bit and i've also got a lot of work to do for uni so quite a busy day and then this evening we are going to go out for some drinks because that's my favorite thing to do in leeds like i get a lot of recommendations for different bars and different clubs and i want to try out as many as we can so tonight i think we're going to go to be at one cocktail bar which is in the center of leeds that is the plan for the day right now i'm going to eat my bowl of cheerios and my glass of cranberry juice so i am now about to go to the gym i've got this hoodie on i think i'm gonna have to put a coat on as well though because it's so cold um i really do need to wash my hair very aware of that um i'm gonna do it as soon as i get back i've got my new leggings on these are the gymshark leggings that i got um i didn't realize they weren't high-waisted like if you pull them up they do kind of go high-waisted and they are high-waisted at the back it's really strange but yeah they're these i actually do really like them though they're very comfortable not too sure if they were worth like 32 pounds don't think i'll be buying another pair but i'm glad that i've got like one pair now because they're very comfy they're kind of like you know they feel kind of like yoga pants maybe they are i don't know they're the flex ones so but yeah I'm gonna head to the gym it's so cold in my room the heating i have this tiny little heating box here right and you click it on so it'll come on now and it stays on for 10 minutes and then it goes off when i fall asleep put it on and then after 10 minutes it goes off and that's it all night so unless i get up every 10 minutes to turn the heating back on yeah <laughs> i am back from the gym the lighting in here is awful like oh dear. there's literally nowhere i can sit to make this better i don't think i'm now the only one in the flat because obviously it's still quite early to be back at uni and leeds beckett don't go back for like another week and a half i don't think um people have exams but they're not back i did have like two flatmates were here last night and they've both gone home so i am now the only one in the flat and will be for the rest of the whole week um i don't really mind about that because to be honest i really don't spend that much time in in the kitchen unless we're all in together like obviously you saw me play monopoly with george he has gone to visit his girlfriend and yeah so i'm just basically on my own so i'm sat in the kitchen now there's nobody else here it is 20 past two i got a coffee from starbucks but i haven't had any proper lunch so i'm gonna make myself a bagel i think and then i've got quite a lot to do this afternoon as i mentioned including the first job is to have a shower wash my hair dry my hair get ready because i can't really do any of the stuff 
until I've got ready like I need to do some bits for a brand deal and obviously I need to like look a little bit more put together than this so yeah that is my job the first thing I need to do though is make my lunch but honestly I can barely even walk from going to the gym like it hurts oh other update I tried the vegan sausage roll from Greg's and I actually really liked it like it was really nice so bagel time this is my little lunch um so I've got peanut butter and banana on um bagels and then this packet of crisps I'm majorly let down with that is a full packet of Walker's crisps why is there like none there so yeah I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have some water and then I'm gonna get on with my afternoon been a while we actually did just cook together Eleanor is here I don't even think I've vlogged have I basically I think I've told you that we're going out for drinks we're gonna go to Weatherspoons and then to be at one or all bar one be at one um it's in Millennium Square. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leeds, I've never been before, but yeah, we've also accidentally coordinated our outfits. We're both wearing black uh, long sleeve crop tops and black cropped. skinny jeans. So love that for us. We look very basic, but we actually, I think we look a bit more put together than any other time this week. It's like in the gym when we had that opposite. Yeah, yesterday we both wore the same gym outfit, but like in reverse. So I had like grey leggings on and a black top and Eleanor had the same, but like inverse. It looked cool, but also a bit tragic. So yeah, we are going to head out now. We've just eaten. I've straightened my hair very badly. What's new? I was laughing, right? Because you look like you've peeled out of your gym. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever read the book Flat Stanley? <laughs> it's because I basically did because my top's still attached to my hoodie. Oh, love being tragic. Wow, the lighting's been better. This angle's been better. So we are finished in um, Headley Verity, which is my favourite Weatherspoons in Leeds, I think. Is it yours? Yeah, it's got my music. It's got, yeah, it's the only Weatherspoons I've ever been in that has like music. Actually, no, the one we went in in your town in Huddersfield, there was music. Oh, yeah, but that was like a, that was a quiz night. <laughs> So now I'm going to go to be at one. I've never been here. Although until recently I thought it was the same as all bar one, which I have actually been to before, but not in Leeds. But I don't think it is the same bar, but I'm not too sure. So we can go to uni. Oh yeah, we could go to uni. <laughs> no, let's not. I'd rather not. Woo. Also, guys, this is Pop World, and this is on my to-do list in Leeds before we leave because it's like a cheesy bar. <gasps> oh, we could go in there now. Right, if all bar one or be at one is dead, we're going in Pop World. No, no, can we go for like another drink and spoon first? And then we'll no. I need to be a bit more. <laughs> you need to be drunk to go in there. It's basically 80s cheesy hit. I think this bar looks amazing. Eleanor won't go in because she doesn't like it. Yeah, does this some men? Oh, they're like 50 euros. <laughs> this is like a, just a good place to go drinking because you've got revs here. B at one is over there. This is another Weatherspoon, it's literally like 100 meters away from the one we just came out of. Basically, there's some good bars in Leeds. I'll give it, I'll give it that. So we went into B at one and there was literally just us in there. So now we're going to revs, which is my favorite bar. <laughs> Basically, Revolution is a chain. Go to it if there's one near you because it's so good. We're going there now instead. And probably that'll be dead too because it's a Wednesday night in the first week in January and the rest of the students in Leeds aren't back yet. It but it'll be all right, it's all right. There's people outside at least. How'd you do it? Like that? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please How much? Do we need to carry on? Thank you. <laughs> never ended this vlog basically we went out and then we got in kind of it actually wasn't that late we came back about half past 11 because we went out early like we weren't in a club or anything we just went to revolution as you guys saw so i'm gonna end the vlog now it's the next morning but i am actually about to restart another vlog which will be up for you guys tomorrow morning at 11 a.m so i feel like some of you maybe missed that last week i am actually uploading a vlog on a saturday and a sunday so be sure to be on my channel tomorrow morning at 11 so that you guys get to watch that one too and yeah i'll be back then i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have smash a thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new around here because it is mad to me how many people watch these videos and don't subscribe it's actually like half so if you're watching this and you know you haven't hit that button please please go down below and do because it does help me out and also it just allows you to know when i've uploaded so you don't have to like search me so yeah i will see you all tomorrow morning at 11.